Hey, welcome back to our Advent devotional. Uh, yesterday, we looked at the life of Joseph. Do you remember that? And Joseph's brothers meant evil towards him, but God took all that evil and he turned it into good because God has a plan and God is always working. We're going to see a little bit more of that plan today as we look at this block. Anyone have an idea what this is? This is what we would call the burning bush, and it's found in Exodus chapter 3. You see, Moses was a man who was broken and hurt. He had made some bad choices. He grew up in, as a prince, but because of some of the bad choices he made, he ran away and he was banished. He was alone, and uh, he had his sheep that he took care of. And one day as he was walking through the desert, something caught his eye. There was a bush on fire. We don't know if this was the first time that he'd ever seen a bush on fire like this, but it was the first time that he felt like he needed to go and investigate hmm. to see what it is. And as he got closer to the bush, God spoke to him and said, Moses, Moses, remove your shoes because where you are standing right now, this is holy ground. And Moses had a personal conversation with God. And God began to say, I've, I've heard the hurt and the pain of my people. I've heard their prayers, and I am going to answer their prayers. I'm going to send you. You are going to be used by me to be a deliverer, to help save my people. But Moses said, no, no, I, I, I can't speak. I can't do this. I'm, there's too much fear. And God said, I am going to be with you. And God began to give Moses his brother Aaron and uh, so that Aaron could help him out. And God gave Moses some strength by showing Moses that this is what I could do. In fact, God shows all of the people of Egypt and Israel what he could do by doing these amazing miracles and showing that he is the one God of the universe. God used Moses to deliver his people out of a land of slavery into freedom. What was hard is it was, it's actually easy to, to save the people from slavery, but it was really hard to get some of the practices out of them. And so the people of Israel spent 40 years wandering in the desert, being led by God, being led by the deliverer, Moses. You know, Jesus is a way better deliverer than Moses. Uh, he delivers us, and he is perfect in everything that he does. Moses made mistakes, and Jesus is perfect in every way. During this holiday season, some of us, we need saving. We need to be delivered. Would you look to Jesus? He loves you, and he has a plan for you, and he wants to deliver us. He's also wanting to use us to be people who help deliver other people by sharing good news. And so this Christmas season, we get to share the amazing message of Jesus Christ, who was born in a stable, but grow up, grew up, defeating death and sin and giving us deliverance from everything.